Hey guys, how's it going? It's Height here, and we are back with a brand new episode of Astro Colony. And since the last episode, I have gone ahead and scrapped the whole entire floor. We don't need it right now. Look at this, we have 852 floor waiting for us. Bunch of walls, some foundations. We can extend. We can extend our base. So what I want to do today, today is going to be setting up our base, hopefully, to at least start some actual factory stuff. Because right now, it's not really a factory, you know? I'm kind of just taking stuff and putting it in and taking stuff out of there and putting it over there and taking it from there and you get it. Anyway, I don't want to do that anymore. I want this to be at least partially, if not fully automated by the end of this episode. We're going to see how much we can get done. So the first thing I want to see is because I want to be able to put buildings anywhere without having a problem. I want to see if I can put flooring on top of this wire now it doesn't look like i can but maybe we can put down some foundation like this and then can i put the floor on top of that Yes, and will it connect? Also, yes. Okay, well this is this is looking decent. Right? I think that's looking pretty good. So I can run all my wires underneath this floor. And the only other thing I need to try is can I put buildings up on top of there or does it need to be on a foundation so what do i even have to try this with uh you know what let's just try it with one of these it's not big enough okay we need oxygen as well it's kind of a problem hang on okay let's make this a little bit bigger and then hopefully We'll be able to put one of those miners on here just to try. Just, you know, to prove the theory. And then if it works... Oh, it's not going to work. Oh, we don't have the materials. I need six iron bars and three more plates. Okay, well, we've got all that stuff right here. Let's just take all this. Okay, now let's try this one more time. Oh, it looks... It looks like it's gonna work. Okay. Now, in theory, all I should have to do is connect the wire. And it should just shoot like, like that. And then all I would have to do is close up the floor around it. What? Wait a minute. The wires pass through the floor? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Seriously? Oh, they do it automatically. <gasps> oh, that is good. Oh, I, I like that. Okay. So really, in theory, we could. This might be a little bit crazy. It's maybe a little bit much, but we could run an entire floor of wires. Huh? We could do it. It would just take a whole bunch of copper. But we could do it. If we made a whole floor of wires then we could put machines wherever we wanted and we wouldn't have to worry about belts being in the way of wires honestly i think 
I think that's the play. I wonder if... Can belts go through floors? Probably not. Probably not, right? I can't imagine. Maybe once we get vertical belts. I don't even think I've made a belt of any sort yet. Mm, I don't think so. How many wires do I even have right now? We have four. <laughs> we have four. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to need a lot more than four. Um, yeah, we're going to need a ton more than four. But to start with, I guess we're going to need some power. And after we have that, I don't know. Let's just start with power, see if we can get some more buildings going. And once we have that, we can probably start making our wire, our wire floor. This is going to be expensive. Yeah, that's, that's going to be pretty expensive. But you know what? If we start over here, we can get at least these things automated and hook them up to a smelter. Maybe that's where we'll start. So let's... Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I got it. Let's get rid of this. Just get rid of it. For now. And we want to start putting a floor in. Right over top of where these things were. Just a nice big... Nice big juicy floor. Yep, just like so. Wait a minute. Even the machines can go through the floor? <laughs> Even the machines can go through the floor. I was not expecting that. That's, uh... That's a little bit different. I was definitely not expecting to be able to build the floor around the machines. Okay, well... For now... This will work. So we want to get... A bunch more of our factory doohickeys going and I need I guess the power The power doesn't have to come out the back. I can use the back for the For the output and now I can just squish these things together as tight as they'll go <gasps> Can we fit one more? Oh, I need a little bit more iron I think We'll be able to pull this off. Oh my god. Why is this stuff not stacking? Okay, we'll try that. We need six iron and I'll be able to make that last one. And then we have to start looking at how to make conveyor belts. Because we gotta get some productivity going. Okay. So there's the start. Those things are all being juiced up. Perfect. Now I'm going to need some conveyor belts to hook up to those guys to actually start pulling resources out. And where the heck do we even make conveyors? Is this them? Number one conveyor belt? What? Ramp up, ramp down. Interesting. Now these are supposed to... I don't know if... Will those just automatically output? Or how do we actually get the stuff out? I screwed this up, didn't I? Didn't I? That's the output right there, isn't it? Isn't it? Be honest. Is that the output right there? It is. <laughs> oh my god, of course. Of course they screwed it all up. Can I pick this up somehow? What? Wait, what? Oh, I have to delete it. Ah, oh, okay. So I put all of these on the wrong way. Why did they do that? They make it so that you have to have a space in between them if you want to be able to pull. Yeah, there's no way to do it. You have to leave a space in between. Which is super annoying. 
but we could kind of turn them back and forth towards each other. I guess we may as well delete all these wires as well. Now what I was saying was I think we'll be able to turn these things kind of back and forth and have so one power goes like that one power goes like that and at least that way we only need a space between them every two times but that's still gonna cut us down to only having four until I expand this out and, and I don't know if I want to do it right now let's just do it whatever I don't even care let's just do it we'll expand the floor where's my flooring I gotta go through my toolbars and organize them so that I have so I know where things are all the time and so that they're a little bit easier to maneuver through I should have one for like base building and one for automation and one for mining or something I don't know I'll have to figure it out at some point now is not the time for that though anyway where I where was I let's get some wires and really I at some point want to fill up this whole space under here but for now there we go that's all we have to worry about Okay, now that is finally set up. I guess I don't need this thing under there. I hope anymore. Okay. Now, where are my conveyor belts? Let's get some of those guys going. And I think... I'm not sure exactly how I want to do this. I'm pretty sure I want them all to connect. At the very least, I'm going to want them all to go to one spot. And then I'm not sure how I want to deal with this part yet, because we're going to have a lot of resources that I kind of have to sort through. And I also want to be a little bit careful that I don't cover up so much that I can't get the wires in after. So that is something I need to be mindful of. Because once I cover it all up, I don't want to have to uncover it to put more of those down. So I think we can get rid of all of these buildings for now. Just at least temporarily. They're kind of in the way. I'm expecting this is going to be where I start building. And I think before we even start doing that... Maybe I start running wires. I just don't know how much copper that I have. But that would be the dream. We just have a whole floor of belts. Or not belts. Wires. Okay, well, you know what? That's a good start. That is a really good start. So we can cover that whole area up. Mm, yep, just like that. Perfect. And I don't really want to cover this part, but we'll do it. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is pull out all of the coal, I think. That's the first thing we want to do. Just get the coal out of there and get the ice out of there. So we're going to need... A splitter, not a splitter, a filter. What is this one? A pusher, a blocker, and a splitter. Okay, we want a filter, perhaps? I don't even know. What? How does this work? So, I've got this set to filter coal, I think. But I don't know what it does with that. That's kind of the problem. Because if I can get coal and tell it to go somewhere into my either my storage or my furnaces that would be the dream okay so i think what i have to do is put a splitter hang on before we do that i gotta put a filter i think this thing only filters the path so i have to set the path first this one will be for ice this one will be for coal 
And then I think if I put a splitter on there, I want to say as it's going through. No, I don't think that's actually gonna work Because the half of this half of the coal and half the water are gonna go that way What other blocks do I have to work with here? I think there's some other ones blocker pusher to push specified resources on maybe that's the one we want Let's delete all of this and try a pusher. Let's see. We want to push. Well, I would like to filter that if I could. Can I push ice? And push coal? Now, am I able to get this stuff off of here? That looks like it's going to work I think I think that's gonna work so now this has to go up 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 and if it's ice or coal it should go that way and if it's not I want it to come up here and get smelted so let's take this guy we don't need it down here anymore and we'll stick it up on top Where's my smelter? Hydrogen generator, constructor. Where's a smelter? Four? Smelter! Okay, input. Oh, it's got two inputs? Now, I don't know if that actually works. I think it will once I put a splitter. Five. There we go. I don't even think I need the second one. That should just start working. Okay, now all I need to do is get a wire. And this thing should just start working. Oh my god, look at how much copper I have. That's great. That's great! Oh, except now my coal is plugging up. Hang on. I need water. Perfect. Okay, so let's delete this and these. In fact, let's delete all of this. Even this thing can go for now. And I need to start running a bunch more wires because we have to extend our platform. All right, so to get us going, we did unlock, we did unlock the ability for solar power, but I haven't actually started playing with it yet. I just wanna get at least some sort of factory going just so that we can actually produce some resources and at least have something some something trickling in. I put all of these on backwards. I just realized. Ay -ay -ay -ay. Okay, let's try that one more time. Turn these around like this. Okay, that is actually gonna work now. And then we got to get these hooked up with some nice juicy belts. And I have no wires and we have to make some more. Let's just turn this on full bore for now. And then we should be able to connect this, connect this, connect this. And then we're going to need some extra belts. Like so. And then we're going to want, finally, some splitters. I don't want it to push this way. Mmm, see, that's going to be a problem. Can I block it? I think I can. 
filter to ice. And then I have to try and get that thing out of there. It's not, it's not the prettiest, but it'll work. So we're gonna have to do that everywhere. I don't think this logistics actually costs any resources though, does it? It doesn't seem to. So if I change all of these to ice and then we have to extend this over. I'm gonna need one more of those ice filters here. Okay, and then all we need is two more splitters. Like so. And then all of those should be getting infinite coal. It's not splitting it equally, which is not the best. But it is splitting it. Now, what's going on here? Why are these... What, what's what's plugging up now? Oh, the water. Okay, that's fine. We can deal with the water. I just need to extend the platform a little bit more. <laughs> okay, now all I need to do is plunk down a water thingy. That should be all I have to do. And we have to connect that in to our factory. I don't need a splitter here. I should be able to just stick it in. And then we got to connect it to power. Just like, just like that. And now it should take in all of the ice. Anytime I need any water at all or any oxygen at all, we just go over there and we take it. Okay. Can I get rid of these just to clean out this belt? I don't like... Oh, no, I can't. Because this thing's a splitter. It's just gonna... It's just gonna fill that belt up again anyway. So we could technically run another... Smelter if we wanted. But for now, I think one... One will... Looks like it will keep up. For the most part. How are, how are our belts doing? This one's empty. This one's still got a bit. Empty. Still quite a bit. And still quite a bit. You know what? Let's help it. I just... I want to know if... One smelter is even enough to keep up with five of these things. It might not be. Although, in all reality, I think what's going to happen is... My... My belts are probably too slow. I can't I can't actually let any more stuff in. Okay, but we let the system clean itself out and it looks like it looks like we're going to be able to keep up with five of those machines running at the same time. And this thing's just going to run Hopefully forever. It's not running at full efficiency because I am not producing enough power But I'm hoping we're gonna be able to get into the solar panel Material here pretty soon. I don't like how these things don't Is there a sort button merge items? Oh, there we go Yeah, I like that that is good Okay, so I've got a whole bunch of extra copper. What is this thing even? Oxygen generator? Why is that here? We don't need that. Okay, and why is this here? I don't need that either. Okay, well that's looking pretty good. Let me use up the rest of our cable because we've got tons of it. And I may as well keep extending this floor until we can't anymore. Oh, it takes 25 per per run here. Well, there goes all the copper we had. But this looking pretty good. I like it.
Okay, so I want to get a few new machines going. This manufacturer is actually how we make... Oh, we turn plates into wires. Hang on. I don't want that yet. I thought that was the one that made plates. Uh, which one makes the plates? Is it this one? Mm, wait. Does the smelter make plates? No, it makes rods. It makes the rods. How do we make the plates again? I always forget. The constructor, right? Which one's that? This guy? Oh my god. I think this is the one we want. So, input. Hey, yay, 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 input. Something like that. This one should make us plates. Yes. Okay, that one's going to make us plates. And really, I could just... Do I want to stick everything in there? Eh, I don't think I want to stick everything in there. Hang on, let's turn this thing around. I think it'll be more... More better if we go the other way, so... Wrong one... I don't want my power and my input on the same side. Oh, I, maybe I do. Because otherwise my output's going to be going the wrong way. Oh, that's not very nice. All right, fine. We'll do it. We're getting pretty close to ad adivaral beta. I want to connect it to the back, but I don't know if there's actually going to be room. Uh, also, this thing... You know what? We can just get rid of this. There's a little bit of coal left here, but I don't care. Let's get rid of this planet. We don't need it anymore. Goodbye. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want to go with it. Okay. Now, where was I? I, well, first of all, need some more air and then let's connect this I think to here with a splitter so half of our stuff should go in there to get merged up and the other half we could actually send ah, where do I want this to go we can send this out and into a storage, perhaps? I don't mind that. That's not a bad idea. This thing's going to need power, though, or it's not going to work. So there we go. We're going to start making plates. Automagically, it's perfect. So let's plunk down our storage. I think it doesn't really matter where this thing goes. We can put it in here or wherever. This is just going to put stuff in. And I also want this one to put stuff in. So both of those are going to put stuff in. And we should start storing our good stuff right away. Where's that planet at? Oh, we're getting close. It's got trees on it. That's pretty neat. But you know what else is neat? We have all of these materials here that we're going to be able to build with pretty soon, which is great. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that. At some point, we're going to want to put a splitter on here. So that we can actually start making wires as well. This is all temporary. I, I already dislike how this is being set up. But for now, it is going to at least help us get automated, get some stuff going. And let me guess, we're probably nowhere near as efficient as we could be. No, we're not. Some of these guys... This one's getting all of the coal. Which I don't like, but I don't know how to fix it right now. 
with the limited space unless at some point we get a better splitter there's no way I can yeah it's not the best we're gonna need some kind of balancer some kind of factorial balancer system of some description I don't know we're gonna need a bigger base for that for now it'll work if I have to I can always just come in here and take some out of this one and shove them into there and you know what just just because we can and I want more power I think I am going to just turn these around hook them up like this and just put some power in them manually why not you know this will work temporarily for now just to just to get us back up and then we should be running at peak performance look at that I love it all right we made it to Adveril beta kind of mostly let's just shoot well maybe we still want to go a little bit to the right And I don't know if I'm going to be able to actually get over there or not. Oh, yeah. Can I put this? Can I put this somewhere? Where can I put this? Oh. It. Oh, right there. That'll do. Let's see. Dock. Opposite stations too far. That's got to be close enough now, right? Oh, there we go. Oh, this is maybe not the best, though. Mm. I mean... Well... It worked. Holy cow, there is a lot of stuff in here. I don't know what happens when when these things overlap each other, but yeah. Hoo -wee. We've got a lot of stuff to dig now, which is fine. Now that we have this kind of automation facility going, we should be able to start producing tons and tons of resources. Yeah, this thing's already doing its thing. I love that. But we still have one more thing left to do, and it is set up wire automation. So let's... I need some copper wires, don't I? I need copper wires to make copper wires on it. Okay, how do we want to do this? I need an input somewhere... I need an output. You know what? I think... I think... I think I think... How do I... I think this is the best way to go about it. And it's not pretty, but it will work. Now, if I can get this into there and get a splitter that should start splitting the plates over yes and then i just need one plunk of wire there and to connect this back into here there we go we are now making some wire some plates some ingots we're making it all for free we don't have to do anything it just works it just works okay let me get rid of these things we don't need them down there anymore and let's actually fill these holes in with wires so that i can fill in the rest of this floor oh oh it's beautiful isn't it a work of art it's definitely a work of art 
So eventually, I think what's going to happen is we're going to have, because I can't sort or I can't split these things into, well, at least I haven't found a way yet to split them into, like, the way I actually want them to be. Um, we're probably going to end up setting up a few of these. One is going to be fully automated and send everything to be plates. One will be fully automated and send everything to be wires. And that way we can actually make a good amount of everything. Right now we're kind of just sending half of our bars up here. Half of them are getting turned into plates and then half of those are getting turned into plates and half of those are getting turned into wires. And by the time we get to the wires, we're actually not making very many wires. So, I mean, it's a start for now, but I think we could do better. I'm pretty sure we can do better. But I think that is a pretty good spot to wrap up the episode. We've got our first little starter factory going. I am I'm actually really happy with the way this thing is turning out. At some point, we're going to have to get back in to the research. I want to start dealing with the solar power, get rid of our coal power altogether. And I want to start dealing with the water, the hydrogen, that stuff get all that automated and functional but I mean just one thing at a time we're making it work I am absolutely loving this game guys I hope you guys are too if you are liking the series and you want to see some more don't forget to leave me a thumbs up on this video subscribe to my channel if you're new here guys drop me a comment let me know what you're thinking of this base so far it's kind of expensive to do a whole wire floor and i was thinking about it after and i was thinking maybe when i redo this at some point when it's time to start upgrading things i just do rows of every third every third one something like this because then technically if i did that it would take one third of the wires and all I would have to do is put from the from the floor above it just stick one where I want it to go and one down under like that and it doesn't matter where it is it would still work if it was there if it was here if it was over here all I'd have to do is put one and then one under it and it would be done so it would take one third of the wire and still basically accomplish the same thing I'm I'm kind of thinking if I rebuild although by that point it maybe won't even matter how much wire we're using so I don't know it probably would have been good to do that right now since I didn't have a lot of wire or resources I don't know if you haven't done something silly like me yet maybe that's something you want to carry through on yours let me know what you think other than that guys I'll see you next time